I would like to offer you all a warm welcome to Chateau Chalin. And we're gathered here today to witness the marriage of Kenneth and Sherry, to share their joy and to celebrate their love. And as Kenneth and Sherry come before you here today as two, they will leave this place as one, united in marriage. We know that you are all happy to be here in order to witness and celebrate their union and to support them in sustaining it from this day on. And we celebrate this unique time in their lives and make it meaningful by entering into it in an attitude of respect for their deep commitment to one another. vineyard dinner was amazing, oh. the table, the cornucopias over there, the food. The fact that you're in a vineyard where there's nothing there, so there's not like a restaurant that they can make and they bring it out to you. The fact that they brought everything there. They and, built their restaurant yes, on site. Yeah. and cooked everything on site and brought it out and all the chairs and decorations. The time and prep into it and it looked beautiful. Like, and beautiful is such a poor word for what it looked like. It's just so much better than that. Words just can't describe how amazing it was. Yeah, for the vineyard, it, the sun just opened up as soon as we got there. At first it was a little chilly, and then we walked over, and even that, that was spectacular. The flowers there were beautiful, and then all of a sudden the sky just opened up, and it was sunny. We had two rainbows. And we had rainbows. It was perfect. Mm -hmm.
It's so hard to decide which was the best. I think the first time I was like, wow, not, you know, besides being in the castle here in France. And just everything, all the decorations, like you think you know what it's gonna look like and then when you actually come and it's done and it's there, it's so much better than you could ever, could ever imagine. Like, that was the first thing. I was like, from here on out, I'm like, I'm not questioning anything. I'm not telling her what to do. I'm just gonna let her do her thing. I, I, yeah, I have full trust in her. And she's done a great job. We have friends and family here. So my uh, my mother's from Germany, so all her relatives live in Germany. I can't have them all here because it's a small venue, so I had the ones that I'm closest to here. And then the other friends are just friends that I have, like, you know, from the States, from England, and yeah. So we had our closest people here. Yeah, it was very tough to reduce it to 50 people. And we know we hard. have probably people that are, you know, why wasn't I invited? And it's, it's not like that. We still have other close friends, but you had 50 people, you had a, limited to 50, so it was, it was a was very the tough part. Yeah, it's crazy. an emotional thing to do that. how it happened that we decided to get married in France. I think it was just a whim one day. We like France. Yeah, we said, let's go, why don't we get married in France? And, uh, Sounded like a good idea. She was against it at first. Because at the end of the day, I wanted, like we were saying, like you want your entire friend, like all of your friends and family here. Who's gonna travel all the way to France to come to a wedding? So it was kind Obviously. of, well, <laughs> it was kind yeah, we of If we were invited like, 100, they would have come. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we wanted a special event. That's why we did it so many days. When they yeah. came here, 
It's an experience we'll never forget, we'll never forget. It wasn't just coming for one day, for a dinner, and then you go home. I don't think anybody that was here will ever forget this wedding. So I started doing a lot of research once we started thinking that we were going to have our wedding in France. And I just looked up websites after websites, like wedding venues. And then when we came here, just driving down, I was like, when you can see it like poking through the forest, it was just beautiful. I was like, this is it. This is it. And you pull in and you're like, oh my, you don't even need to go inside. Right when you pull in, that's enough to be like, oh, yeah. Our first night, they put on the paella dinner and their flower arrangement of the peacock, I was just in complete, like, it was beautiful, it was stunning, gorgeous, and, and I couldn't have asked for anything more. Everything was perfect, it, even better than I had ever imagined. It was wonderful. I went to a couple places actually, and finally um, a girlfriend of mine brought me to this bridal place, and I, I can't even tell you how many dresses I tried on, and they just weren't for me. I didn't want anything poofy, and I didn't want anything with you know a long um, train. I just wanted very simple, and they didn't have anything there, so I ended up taking three different parts of three different dresses and putting like the bottom on and folding it in. I put a top on from another one. And then I had a vision that I wanted a lace like off the shoulder. So I tried on a jacket there. So I had it like pinned and one piece on, another piece on and I was like holding it in the mirror and I was like, this is exactly the type of dress I want. So we just kind of put it together and they sent it to this company. And I went and I tried on a paper dress at first and then they built my dress.
worked out. She it designed was just, it. You designed yeah, it. Yeah, it was just exactly how I envisioned, like five years ago, how I wanted my dress to five be. Five years ago. Yeah, it was a picture of in my head of how I wanted it to look, and it looked exactly. Who were you marrying like five it. years ago? Stop it. <laughs> Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands, and it's doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in a spirit of joy. Do you, Kenneth, offer yourself wholly and joyfully, and do you choose Sherry as the person with whom you will share your life in laughter and in tears, in conflict and tranquility, loving what you know of her and trusting what you do not yet know? I do. Do you, Sherry, offer yourself wholly and joyfully, and do you choose Kenneth as the person with whom you will share your life in laughter and in tears, in conflict and tranquility, loving what you know of him and trusting what you do not yet know. I do. Will you, the families and friends of Kenneth and Sherry, support and uphold them in their marriage now and in the years to come? I've been impressed, honestly, the entire thing has been something new every day to be just amazed about, you know. Um, the staff is absolutely, you know, absolutely incredible and, and you don't feel so much like they're waiting on you as they're part of the, the party and, uh, you know, there are so many people here that, have, that, that are doing amazing things. Every day is something interesting going on and it was really amazing and it's just, and I'm just so happy for them, you know.
absolutely impressed with all of our guests that they played the part and they played it very well. Everyone dressed up, they had the makeup and the costumes and hats and I, it, was, it looked stunning. It was awesome. Yes, I, I was very grateful to them that they took the time to go out. and yeah. These aren't outfits that are sitting in their closets. They had to go buy them and put them together and travel over here with them and, and they did a really good job looking the part. very simple I didn't want anything overdone so it really didn't take me long to find I thought my dress was great Gatsby but I wasn't sure but it just had a little fringe so when bringing it over here but after I got here when the makeup artist came and he did my hair and then put my makeup on and then I put it on it completely changed the whole look of the entire thing like all of it put together was amazing we're all alone no chaperone can get our number the world's in slumber, let's misbehave. There's something wild about you, child, that's so contagious. Let's be outrageous, let's misbehave. When Adam won his hand, he wouldn't stand for His costume, we just really decided that we were going to have it made. And when he went to have his suit done, we just asked him if he could make a suit for the Gatsby. Yeah, well, well we found a picture of a, a suit from the movie The Great Gatsby. Well, there was a lot of suits there. We found the one that we liked the best, and we brought the picture to um, the tailor and said, just make the suit, and he made it. And he did an amazing job. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. It was perfect. The colors yeah. are perfect, everything. Yeah. Misbehave. Just one night all we got. Just one night all we got. You just really feel like you're playing the part, especially when you walk in and everyone, the music is playing, and the food, and just the decorations. It was fun. And that band was amazing too. They yeah. were, they were just, they fit the part. And uh, and Renee, the makeup he did on her, oh. just stunning. Yeah. Made me feel I mean, like good, a million bucks. Year, but yeah. A million bucks. Yeah. He was, he was fabulous. Today is the day I wed my best friend. I never imagined meeting someone I am so compatible with. Just as you do to everyone you meet, you completely light up my life. From our first date nearly a decade ago, I've enjoyed every day better than the last with you. We've had our ups and downs, but we always navigate through them and emerge a better, stronger, and more understanding couple. 
Though we are a blended family, you would not know. Thank you for being such a great mom to all our children and a companion to me. Not everyone gets to marry that one person who the mere sight of or the thought of makes you smile from ear to ear, but I do. I'm a fortunate one who gets to spend the rest of my days with you. You are as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside, and every minute with you further nourishes my soul. Today I promise you this, I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will listen to you with the compassion and understanding and speak to you with encouragement. Together with our four beautiful children, let us build a home filled with learning, laughter, and light, shared freely with all who live there. Let us be partners, friends, and lovers today and for all the days that follow. As I began to write my vows looking for some inspiration that would help me to express to everyone here today exactly what you mean to me, I realized that there was only one thing that I needed and it was to remember the moment 10 years ago that you stole my heart with one kiss. And since that day, I have waited to share this, all of this with you. Today, with all of our closest friends and family, I choose you to Ken to be my husband, my home for eternity. I vow to love your children like my own and to always be there for them, as you have always done with mine. From this day forward, I vow to never use the word yours and mine but simply ours. As of today, our family is one and our hearts are one. I vow to love you as your wife forever and to know that as we write our story together, it will be the greatest story ever told. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding and speak to you with encouragement together with our four beautiful children. Let us build a home filled with learning laughter and light shared freely with all who live there. Let us be partners, friends, lovers in today and for the rest of the days that follow. Kenneth and Sherry, before this moment, you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, travel companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. For you've learned much from one another in these last few years. Look at one another now. Remember this moment in time. I, Kenneth, take you, Sherry, as my wife. I, Sherry, take you, Kenneth, as my husband. And I promise to be always faithful in joy and in pain in health and in illness and to love you and to honor you every, every day, day of my life. life. Sherry, take this ring as a symbol of my love and fidelity. Kenneth, take this ring as a symbol as my love and fidelity. It now gives me great pleasure to declare that you are husband and wife together. Congratulations to you both. And now finally, Kenneth, you may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I now give you Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth Fontaine.
Okay, I just want to start by saying congratulations to two amazing people. Can we please give them a round of applause? A family is a safe space. Wait, I mean safe place. Like a circle where we learn to like ourselves. Where we learn about making good choices. Where we learn thinking about things before we do them. Where we learn to be honest and have table manners. And respect for other people, where we are special, where we share our ideas. Where we listen to them and they listen to us. Where we learn the rules of life to prepare ourselves for the world. The world is a place where anything can happen. If we grow up in a loving family, like our family, we are ready for the world. Thank you. And mom, I love you. Kenny, I love you. Congratulations. about like wedding songs and what we wanted to play and I had this song in my head that I wanted to play and so my friend Aaron who plays on Broadway I, I knew I wanted him to play the piano for the wedding and my uncle Paul had offered that he wanted to play the guitar which I thought would be wonderful so she got a hold of me quite a long time ago and said I want you to play uh, lead guitar in this song and I'm like I, I I'm not a lead guitar player <laughs> But she's like, you'll do fine, you know, which is a very sherry thing to say. I was like, you know, Maya sings at school. What a great thing that would be if she would sing. So we talked about it. And she's like, yeah, I would love to. So then in the whole thing of that, Ben was like, mom, I want to be a part of that too. And he's like, can I play a saxophone part? So I was like, okay. I will say that, you know, Aaron, Aaron was absolutely, you can see why, why he's good at what he does. He was fantastic in terms of helping manage their anxiety you know, and helping them find the right way to do the things that they need to do and giving them feedback without them, you know, while keeping them from getting too upset, you know, too, not too upset, but too nervous or anxious about what was going to happen. So, you know, I just did what I could to support everything. I knew Aaron, the pianist, and Paul, the guitarist, I knew they were going to do something. And I was, I was shocked at first. I didn't know what was going on. Then I looked to the left and I saw a little Ben up there with his sax there. And then she came up. I was, I was in shock for the first 15, 20 seconds and then in complete awe and adoration and thankfulness and uh, completely blown away, taken away. Yeah, my breath was taken away. It was, You know, they, they exceeded, I think, everyone's expectations, and it was phenomenal. So, and I'm so happy that, you know, they, that this worked the way it did, you know, and I'm happy to be a part of it and hold up my end, you know? <laughs> special. I wanted it to be special. I wanted it to be different and like I wanted our family involved, not just the two of us. So it was perfect.
obviously the wedding was the main event last night, and I think the flowers and the band, number one things, they equally. Uh, absolutely, I, it was more magical than I could have ever yeah. imagined. The band really outdid themselves. Their energy, like everybody today has told me that they've never danced at a wedding as much as they danced at this wedding. Any band that can get everyone out of their seats yeah. in five minutes or less and have everyone on the dance floor. And never give them a break the whole night it was awesome. The <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the energy was great. It was mm -hmm. awesome. I knew that they did fireworks, you know, just reviewing all the things of the chateau and like looking online and all of her weddings. I didn't expect it to be like that at all. I thought it was like, you know, the little three minute fireworks. It, it was, was a professional show. It, it was, was amazing. A, yeah, I couldn't believe. I was shocked. Yeah. It was like literally like you're watching the 4th of July fireworks. It was amazing. We knew it was going to be nice, but again, like everything's been here, we were blown away.